my name is Jimmy Edwards and this is a inner vid on how to use Kodu. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to create a football game um, using just one controller as the actual um, for a two player game. Okay so first thing we need to do is load a world. So if we go across we should be able to find a template with a stadium already built. Nice and easy. Uh, there we go. Empty stadium. So we'll play that one. Okay, right, here we go. So the first thing we can do, we can edit it. We're going to add our code. So if we go to one end, okay, so press A, go to our code section, add our character. We can select the color we want. Okay, so if we just zoom in a bit. Okay, there's our code. We can pick them up, turn them the right way, move them around. So we have them facing the centre of the pitch. Okay, and place them down. Okay, we're going to change the colour. I'm in the red team. Press Y to um, open up the coding section. So, so we want a win option. So we press A on the gamepad. So win the gamepad. We want the uh, for this one. We want the left stick of the gamepad. And what do we want him to do? We want him to move. So with that, we've done that, let's see if that one works. So as soon as we press go to play, there you go, you can see our coded guy is moving but very, very slowly. Okay, so let's go back and edit him a little bit. So we want him to move, but we want him to move quickly. Now we can add those quite a few times. Okay, now, so we've got that one there. Now what we can also do, we can actually um, clone him. So if you see up around here, uh, you can do the, it's the right trigger. You can clone, pick him up. And we'll move our lovely little character down to the other end of the football pitch. We turn him around. Okay, we can have two red teams, so we'll change him to, we'll put him down first. We'll change him to green. So you know we're going to change him to purple because we'll stand out a little bit more. Okay, now if you look, we've got the same code already there because we've cloned him. So, but what we need to change this code, so instead of using the L stick, we're going to use the right stick. So now, when we press play, play world, we've got using the right stick, the right coding moves, moving the left stick, the left coding moves, which is great. Now, we need to sort out what they're going to actually be playing against. So we go back to edit world, we're going to go in, and we are going to add, what should we add? We'll add a football. So, Go there, you see the football there. Add the football in. Now, when we zoom in, you can program the football as well. So we can go to Y. So when um, it's bumped into by the coding, I want it to. What should we have it do? We'll have it glow, I think. So actions, glow, and we'll have it glow. Uh, we'll have it color random colors. So whenever a Kodu hits that football, it will glow and it will be a random colour. So let's see if that works. Okay, so let's move our Kodu going across. Okay, you can see the Kodu's moving forward in. So you can see the football is glowing, different colours as the Kodu hits the football. Right, so that's great. We can zoom back out a bit. Now what we need to do, we're going to change the goal area slightly. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in and we're going to go in and we're going to press Y on our gamepad and we can change what kind of colours we want. So if I select Let's go for the nice blue shade, shall we? Blue and stars. So if I select blue and stars, 
Um, you can go to Brush Picker, I believe. If you go all the way across, it's like the magic wand tool, and it will select an entire area, which is good. Okay, so on, brush picker there. Go to the entire area. And you can select the brush. And you can press Y. Select that one. And if we zoom in, we should be able to change the ground cover across an A. There we go, so that's all changed. So if we go all the way down to the other end now. Press A, change that end now. Okay, so as we can see when we play, we've got two different coloured areas now. Now it's time to actually edit the football to make that do something. So if we go back to our football, you can press Y to program. So when, uh, let's have a look. When, go to more on land and we can select what type of land see it's selected already the, the one we used what do I want to do I want the game to say win okay and so when we go back and we press and go so if we just get one code to go across so when we hit the football Now you'll notice the camera angle is very hard to see what's going on. So, what we can do, we can go right away across to that option, go down, and we can select the camera angle we want. So, set camera. So, we're going to have it further up. I'm going to zoom back out, back to there. Okay, press A when I'm happy, and go back. you notice as well that the football is not in the centre, so obviously this gives us a better perspective. So we can go up, we can pick the ball up by pressing A, move the ball into the centre. We can move our characters, character there is okay. So that was slightly off centre. Pick the character up, move him up a bit. Okay, so let's see if this works now. So when we play, we've got our Kodu moving along. So he's going to hit the ball, hopefully that will change colour. It does. We want that ball to roll into the blue area and hopefully go score. And there we go, winner. Now that's a really simple way of creating a multiplayer game using just one um, Xbox 360 controller. Um, it's a two player game and you can use other inner vids to actually add questions in for when people score. Um, but that's the main principle. Thank you very much for um, listening.